An atmospheric administration issued an update to its most aggressive hurricane season forecast on record in August, predicting that 2024 could be the busiest hurricane season in the U.S. that we've ever seen, with warmer water temperatures a key factor in this outlook. This forecast is certainly holding true as Hurricane Milton barrels toward Florida's Gulf Coast a mere two weeks after Hurricane Helene left a path of destruction across the southeast. Let's bring in Michael Brennan, the director of the NOAA's National Hurricane Center, for more on this. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Warmer sea temperatures, a big factor here. What else is making this year's hurricane season so active? Well, we've got you know sort of large scale favorable conditions across much of the Atlantic, warm ocean waters. We've seen, you know, obviously for a storm to strengthen like Milton has, the atmospheric conditions have to be extremely favorable in terms of light upper level winds, lots of moisture. The storm has to sort of be in the right place and have the right structure to take advantage of that warm ocean. And uh, but that's you know typical of what we see in October is this is sort of the prime uh, you know area where we tend to see storms form this type of hurricane season, northwestern Caribbean, Gulf of Mexico. Unfortunately, with those very warm waters and those very favorable conditions. We've now got a really powerful, uh, potentially catastrophic hurricane heading towards Florida uh, later tonight. So you are the pro. When you look at the data, when you look at the maps, what are some of your biggest concerns when watching a storm of this magnitude develop? Yeah, I mean, well, we've got all the hazards in play. We've got the life-threatening storm surge that could be devastating along portions of the west coast of Florida from, you know, the Tampa Bay region southward to Port Charlotte, 10 to 15 feet of inundation expected in that area. That's why people have been asked to evacuate. We've got the potential for, you know, hurricane force winds across much of the Florida peninsula. Everywhere you see in red here is under a hurricane warning. The entire I-4 corridor from Tampa to Orlando to Daytona, Melbourne, Palm Bay, Port St. Lucie, up to uh, St. Augustine, uh, Ocala. Those areas are going to have the potential for you know, devastating wind impacts, widespread tree damage, power outages, structural damage uh, as well. And then we've got the potential for life-threatening rainfall flooding, uh, especially in this red and pink area. Again, that same I-4 corridor could see isolated rainfall totals as high as 18 inches playing out from today into Thursday with the potential for life-threatening uh, flash and urban flooding playing out in those regions. Oh, it just sounds devastating. And it's affecting millions of people, and these are back-to-back -back yeah. storms, right? Can we expect to see back-to-back -back storms like this in the future, or is this just unique for this year? Yeah, sometimes it's just bad luck that we tend to begin in a, a pattern where you tend to have storms form in the same environment. Conditions can be favorable for a certain period of time. You have certain steering patterns set up that will move them in a certain direction. But you know, we have seen back-to-back -back hurricanes affect areas, unfortunately, in the past within just a few weeks. Uh, but, you know, it's important to emphasize that the impacts in, say, West Central and Central Florida are going to be much worse for Milton than they were for Helene. You know, Helene made landfall up in the Big Bend region, <laughs> devastating landfall there. We had a lot of storm surge along the west coast of Florida, but for places like Tampa southward, the storm surge has the potential to be much greater here with, with Milton and with the uh, impacts from the rainfall and the winds across central Florida are going to be much worse than they were with Helene. Let's show some pretty nerve-wracking video here. It's of the NOAA hurricane hunters flying into the eye of Hurricane Milton on Monday to collect data. These are not cowboys. This is science. This is essential yeah. stuff. What kind of data is collected on missions like this and how can it inform preparedness now and then preparedness for future hurricanes? Yeah, the, you know, the hurricane hunters really collect the, the most valuable direct measurements we can get because they can fly right into the storm. They can give us uh, direct measurements of how strong the storm is, how big its wind field is, where it's located. They can also take radar images of the storm. And so our forecasters here at the Hurricane Center are looking at all that data in real time to help us make our analyses and forecasts. All that data also goes into the weather forecast models and helps make their forecast 10 to 20 percent better when we have that aircraft reconnaissance data. So that helps us issue more accurate, more consistent forecasts, warnings, and highlight those areas at risk of that life-threatening storm surge, the winds, the heavy rainfall. So it's really a foundational piece of, of everything we do here to keep people safe from hurricanes. All right, Michael Brennan, thank you so much for joining us today. Important information. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.